Welcome friends from Coxman Productions. Um, I'm gonna have to hurry up because the storage on my device isn't going very well again. In fact, I had this app which I was originally doing for the for this review, but it didn't work and I couldn't upload it or anything, so I'm, that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, the Invisible Man 2020, which came out in February this year. Oh my gosh, it was a good movie in my opinion. If you're looking though for a cookie cutter Invisible Man, like the you know crazy mad scientist that somehow came up with an elixir to you know become invisible, then you will be disappointed because in place of that, it is a suit. That's right, it's a suit that makes the user invisible. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, but. I thought about it at first because I was slightly disappointed with that idea, but then I thought to myself, Macabre's in Productions, why, you know, they've been different, like, for instance, Dracula, like the Bram Stoker version, which I read, uh, the Nosferatu, Dracula de Lugosi, Dracula with, um, with a Christopher Lee, and the millions of other Draculas out there. None of them are exactly the same but they're still good adaptations. So that's what, more or less how I would walk into this movie, and I did, and it was a very good adaptation. And I love the way it ended. I love how the suit played, the role that the suit played in the end of the movie, which is super satisfying for me. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I think they did a good job of scrapping the mummy all together in that, in that sense. But you might be thinking, what else is there for Dark Universe? Well, I went to visit the Dark Universe website, and guess what? It's been magically deleted. That's right, it has been deleted. Dark Universe is totally scrapped. Instead, they're going to have other companies be doing the monster reboot movies. And since Blum did a good job on this one for, for only seven or eight million dollars, which is extremely cheap for movies, especially Universal. Um, so they're going to be doing, which I heard a couple days ago, Blumhouse is going to be doing a Dracula reboot. That's right, a Dracula reboot. There have been rumors of like, what is it? I can't think of the movies. There has been rumors of, let's see, Dark Army, Renfield, and uh, James Wan's Frankenstein, but Dracula has been pretty confirmed, so that's pretty solid of what they're going to be doing. They say they have the writers in place, and you know, it's just waiting to see how it comes together. I think Dracula is very tricky, like, there's only been a few people that have been able to really do a fantastic Dracula, and for me, that is Bella Lugosi and Christopher Lee. So, we'll see. Um, hmm, yeah, so, those are the two things I wanted to say, and <laughs> why can't I do an outro? Alright, well, but if you've seen The Invisible Man, let me know your thoughts on it. What do you hope to expect? What, shit, I just ruined this whole video. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on the Invisible Man, and till next time.